Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn how you can train your custom object detection based on YOLO V8. So let's get started. So recently uh, YOLO V8 has been released and Ultralytics has implemented that. So we are going to use Ultralytics YOLO V8 for that. You need to create a virtual environment and install uh, Ultralytics using pip install Ultralytics. Then you need to download uh, models, pre trained model weights. So there are five uh, nano, small, medium, large, and X. I suggest if you have a basic GPU or only CPU, you should go with ultralytics uh, yolo v8 nano version which is the smallest one but if you have hardware capabilities you can you know migrate to l or x so once you do these two steps install uh, ultralytics and download the model you are good to go so here i'm inside my visual studio code and i have downloaded all the weights just for testing purpose and I have also installed Ultralytics. So I have this train.py. So here you can see that I have imported YOLO from Ultralytics and I have created a model YOLO and the weights I'm using uh, the smallest one, uh, not the smallest one, but the small one. Uh, the smallest is the nano. So my weights are here. So I'm using the relative path and now the important part comes which is data set so for this demonstration purpose i'm using uh, this uh, aquarium data set from roboflow and it has some 638 images of uh, you know uh, seven classes fish jellyfish penguin shark puffin stingray and starfish so this data set needs to be in a particular way so if you look into my data set it has two folders images and labels inside images i have traced train and valid each contains images and in label corresponding label of test images into test folder train images uh, label of that into train folder and uh, valid images label into valid folder uh, this train dot catch and valid dot cache is developed uh, or it is created by ultralytics so this uh, this data set needs to be in this form and make sure the folder which contains images and label folder uh, must be named as data sets so your task isn't complete yet after you know arranging your data set into this way you also need a data.yml file here you need to provide the path of the data set so since it is uh, you can see in the root directory so i have used a dot then you provide the path of train validation and testing uh, directories you only need to provide the path of images it will you know automatically get the path of labels so you can see here i haven't provided the uh, data set word before images cause uh, ultralytics uh, will get that automatically so now my path is images and train valid and test and you only need to provide these three things uh, labels are captured automatically next uh, you need to provide names of uh, your classes so i have seven classes and i have used zero one two three four five six seven uh, sorry six to uh, arrange my classes zero for fish one for jellyfish and six for steen gray so this is how you need to prepare your data set this step is 
very much important because otherwise you will not able to train your uh, model on your custom data set once these things are ready you can uh, write this 11 lines of code and then start training your model so let me just for demonstration purpose let me use 20 epochs and i'm using device zero because i have a gpu let me first activate my virtual environment i'll use python train.py to start the training and meanwhile let me show you a help manual from ultralytics so here if you uh, go to training you can see that there are so many things that you can do and here in the training you uh, first need to create the model and then model dot train has so much uh, things the like epochs uh, batch size image size uh, device then there is one two important things like uh, uh, initial learning rate final learning rate uh, then there will be optimizer as well i'm not sure optimizer yeah optimizer is that uh, default it is uh, sgd but you can use adam or rms prop as well so these are the few things that you can you know change in order to uh, make your model uh, more accurate more efficient uh, let me look into the training part so you can see the training part is started and it will create a folder called run and inside that run uh, so since this train was there already so train 2 is created by this run and it will save all the things into this and you can see it will create the images as well yeah so this is uh, this is this is the training part now let's look into the prediction part of uh, this object detection task so i have written a predict.py file here i'll use two things uh, uh, yolo from ultralytics and i'll use opencv uh, first i'll create a model uh, using the existing weight so when you when the run uh, training run is complete it will so this is from my previous run so it will uh, create a folder called weights inside that there will be a best dot pt so that will be the best weight for that training process so i'm going to use that then uh, this model has a predict method where you can provide the source of uh, your file and for better understanding i'll show you a predict part of this documentation as well uh, you can see there are these few uh, sources that you can use uh, for prediction and uh, the prediction has these much arguments out of which i think the source uh, is a useful one uh, that is device as well if you have a gpu you can use that and i think uh, the other arguments are self-explanatory and uh, <coughs> one more important thing is that plotting result so uh, once you get the result you can plot that even save that as well so we are going to do that so model dot predict has source and since i have device i'm using that device and that will uh, give a list of result out of the list zeroth index is the one we are looking for and we can use plot on that thing and it will plot that and the plot can be saved using cv2 i am right so i'll stop this process because i don't need it 
I have just started it to demonstrate that it works. So let me clear the space python predict dot pi. Yeah, so finally it took some time and when you print the result, it will, you know, show everything. Um, original image, uh, classes name and uh, boxes and everything. So uh, if I look into this output image, I can see that it was uh, penguins out of uh, these so many penguins. It has identified a few, but that's okay because this is for demonstration purpose. If you have run this uh, training process for let's say 1000 epochs, the result would have been more better. So this is how you can, you know, uh, train your custom object detection model using YOLO V8 and with this predict uh, file you can use that trained model to predict on a new file and you know save it or use it in api or you know whichever way you like it so i guess this is it from this part of the video i hope you have gained some knowledge and if you face any issue running uh, the code you can write it into the comment i'll get back to you and if you like my work, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. That helps. Thank you for watching. Peace.